Hello Leos, this is your reading for the 17th through the 18th. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, and Jupiter signs. I pulled two cards for you guys already that we'll read at the end. One from the Romance Angels and one from the Angel Prayer, okay? We're going to do a Celtic Cross for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please hit the like button, you guys. Share the video and subscribe. Alright guys, what's going on around you? Okay, pull that one. Got one to come out. Was challenging you guys. Why this is happening? The recent past. Best possible outcome. What's coming in? That's how you're feeling. The influence. Your hopes. Your fear. And the overall here. Okay. So let's see what's going on. Eight of Swords. A lot of worrying, I feel. Um, a, a lot of thoughts that are trapping you, keeping you stuck here. And, um, but I'm getting that you guys are kind of like, of course, this is a, this is a, a prison of your own fears why like you guys can release yourself and I'm getting you can release yourself by actually speaking about what is bothering you because I'm, I'm getting that there's something that you guys um, there's something that you want to say okay let's see what's challenging you oh my gosh the nine of swords there's some tough energy going on around you guys um, I think there's something that you want to say, but you're really not, you're not confident that it's going to make a difference, okay? And I think this something, there's something that's really bothering you that's weighing heavily on you day and night, okay? So your challenge here is to address these sores. What can you actually do? What can you do? Because this is an overactive imagination. If you're thinking that what, you're, what you have to say is not going to make a difference, I beg to differ. Okay, is is to pick out the things that you know that you know you can try to change at least, not to just sit there and fester in your thoughts and what you think may happen, or you know, answering your own question when you have a question for somebody else because only they can answer that question. Okay, so keep that in mind. Let's see what was going on with you guys. The Knight of Cups. Hmm. Maybe somebody has offered something to you guys and you're really not sure about it or you weren't sure about it before. Maybe you declined um, this person's offer. They were very adamant about something, um, the way they felt about you guys here. And maybe, you know, there was like some miscommunication. It didn't get off the ground, what, ha what have you. Maybe you guys didn't respond in the way that you wanted to. Or this is you guys having offered something to someone or wanting to and just not really knowing how to, okay? Scorpio energy there, um, Gemini energy is here as well, okay? So how you're feeling right now is the Page of Pentacles. I'm, I'm definitely getting that um, there's something that you guys have learned. There's something that y you are wanting to do. There's a plan that it, it's not off the ground yet, though. There's just something that you guys have learned, you've realized about some something or someone, um, strongly someone. I'm feeling like maybe you guys want to make an apology, possibly. Um, if not an apology, you really want to spend some more time with this situation. Whatever that means for you. Maybe you guys want to talk something out or you want to actually, if you turn somebody's offer down before, maybe you want to accept, okay? But there's definitely something that you're interested in that I feel like you have learned. You're learning something right now. And it's, it's about going into the future. It's going into the future um, with, this, with this knowledge. Okay? Now, why this is happening is the King of Pentacles. I'm getting that um, either there's somebody that you feel like is... Um, Either there's somebody that you feel like, this person may be older than you, or they may be, you know, there's a maturity thing um, as far as, like, maybe you guys 
are not that stable as far as like your livelihood. Maybe maybe some of you, you know, don't have a car or don't have don't own your home or something like that. And this person does um, something like that. Or maybe this is just you guys wanting to be there for somebody, take care of this person, you know. But right now you're just trying to figure out how to relay that to this individual. Okay, now the best possible outcome here is the Three of Pentacles that you actually can work things out, that you can actually grow this connection, you can actually get along with this person, have an equal exchange of energy and time that you devote to building this connection here, compromising, okay? Maybe you guys need to get some counseling if this is somebody that you are quite familiar with or you've been in a relationship with previously, um, you know, something of that nature. Working things out, that is the best possible outcome here, okay? Maybe some of you guys have changed your mind about a person after declining an offer. Okay, what's coming in for you guys is a two of wands at a crossroads, not really knowing which way to go, which road you really want to travel. Okay, do I say something or do I try to get back with this person, be with this person, commit to this person, or do I go a different way? And I think that's why you're like in this nine of swords energy because I'm thinking that you have you have answered your own question that you have for someone else, and um, you know that's gonna keep you right here because the only way for you to truly know the answer is to ask the person or have a conversation with the person. You know, let's see what the influence is for you guys. The seven of wands. Maybe you feel like you can't. Maybe you feel like this person has blocked you. Okay. Maybe you feel like this person is blocking progress now. Like maybe they've done enough or they reached out to you and you rejected them and now, you know, they're rejecting you or they're blocking you out. Maybe you can't get in touch with them or feel like they don't want you to, you know. Your hopes is that you will gain the confidence and you can make this happen, okay? The magician has all the aces. This is the initiator. That you can make this happen. You want to make this happen. Okay? Your fear is that the other person will kick against it. They will deny it. They will not let it happen. They will fight you. Or, you know, there will be conflict in this situation. There will be arguments in this situation. This person will not hear you out because they just they don't want to at this point that you can't get anywhere that you won't be able to get anywhere you won't be able to reason with them okay the overall here is a king of swords hmm. now we have two kings okay i mean this may be a same-sex relationship does not have to be or both of you guys are just kind of standing in your masculine energy okay maybe this person is very matter-of-fact maybe they are are kind of aloof maybe they're very controlling manipulative maybe not maybe that's just the way you guys are viewing them at this point you know but I do think that um, I, I'm thinking this person is going to be willing to work things out with you guys. Look at this. Looking right at the Three of Pentacles. I don't think they're going to be overly emotional. If they came across overly emotional here, that's not how this is going to roll, you guys. Okay? So, I'm, I'm feeling that um, this person may have blocked you out. But I, I'm getting that there is a way around this block. Okay? There's a way around it. So, don't let this deter you. All right, guys, so we have, I'm, I'm spilling strong Gemini energy here. Um, maybe Aquarius, Capricorn, maybe another Leo, Aries individual here. Um, uh, Scorpio is here as well. So let's see what's going on with the Oracle cards here. Romance Angels first. We have separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. I'm getting this is what's going on right now, you know. 
you're not with this individual and I think that's what you're trying to rectify here and then we have express your creativity express yourself express what you're thinking because you're doing a lot of thinking here there's a need for you to actually verbalize what it is that you are thinking and feeling what you want thank you angels for helping me to express my inner creator there we go there we go this is the initiator you are helping to create your own reality what do you want that to be are we going to remain like this or are we going to speak our peace guys okay so that's what i have for you guys and i will be speaking with you soon